Hi there. So we are currently working on a project. It's an installation project at a lodge. And we have some installation loudspeakers, just background music systems, and some Blaze Audio amplifiers. And the Blaze Audio amplifiers have um, very nice DSP on board. And you are able to upload presets and create your own presets and do zone controlling and all sorts of things. So I thought I'd use this opportunity to create some presets for some of the loudspeakers we'll be using that do not have presets pre-configured yet. So I have a, um, there's four loudspeakers that I wanted to create presets for, and you can see them over here. That's the work IC 811T, which is a ceiling loudspeaker. Then we have some work Neo series IP rated, um, loudspeakers. Uh, so I set up a measurement rig in my garden, just, um, using the blaze amplifier and some of the speakers and use two microphones to be able to speed up the process. I created a video previously where you can create calibration files for these microphones, not just so that the microphones can be individually frequency response correct, but also so that they can work together. So you can have a more unison measurement uh, when using multiple microphones. So go check out my YouTube channel. Uh, the video is posted there. I'll try and put a link. I'll figure out how to do that. So I did three measurement positions per microphone, which gave me six measurement positions. So I'll show you here on the work Neo 8. So also used the timer function within Smart. Um, you can see the timer function here. There's a timer button which activates it and you can set the parameters for the timer function over here so there's steps that it goes through it gives you a startup countdown and this is also the countdown between measurements so this countdown step and the repeat step go hand in hand so if i have three repeats then there'll be a 10 second gap between each countdown which gives me enough time to move the microphones into a new position uh, if you're working in a lot of larger auditorium, you can up that to however many seconds you want to give you enough time to move the microphones between. Then it goes and switches the generator on. It sets the delay tracker. Um, it You can also have a time to have the delay tracker on. I set it to 10 milliseconds or 10 seconds, and then it switches the generator off. So the generator on and generator off is nice cues for you to know when you can move the microphone or not. So I used this timer function and um, did all of that. Then I went into data modeler, modeler and went and created a whole bunch of EQs, simulated EQs for this loudspeaker. Uh, so if I were to bypass, so you'll see that that is the average response of all the six measurements taken together. And then I went and added EQ filters and did some manipulation. So that is what the response looks like in Data Modeler afterwards. Then after Data Modeler, I went into the Blaze Amplifier DSP, um, imported all of these parameters. Let me see if I can quickly find the PDF. So in Data Modeler, we have the option to export this file to a PDF and i created a pdf with all the parameters you can also just go and look at these parameters here and copy them into into the dsp but um, let's say you have someone off site and you want them to be able to read off these parameters and input them manually and then you can send them a pdf of the data modeler file so then i went and took these parameters inputted them into the dsp went back into smart um, and took six timed measurements so three per microphone and afterwards average them all together. If you want to average them together, you select all of them and go to average, and then you can create an average. And that is the average. So looking at that, and then 
looking at the data modeler pretty pretty simple so i did screen record this process um, i apologize i was mumbling through it a little bit it was at night and it was freezing and i was outside <laughs> so there's a lot of mumbling and me talking to myself going through this process but um yeah it's just a nice practical application of using data modeler with a corresponding dsp and getting some pretty good results so enjoy i'll see you afterwards okay so so i'm doing some presets for some installation loudspeakers just a background music system i've already done presets for a five inch and a six inch speaker thought I'd just uh, take you through the process. I'm going to be working on an 8 inch speaker now. Um, I'm outside, so minimal reflective surfaces. I've got two microphones set up and uh, I'm going to be using the smart um, timer function to speed things up a little bit and then for this installation we've just got some background music speakers on Blaze audio amplifiers. And I thought, well, let's, uh, seeing as Data Modeler has Blaze Audio as one of the settings, we'll be um, doing the presets on Blaze Audio as well. So let's use this opportunity to do some presets beforehand. So firstly, I've got my two microphones set up, two transfer functions, and I'm just going to start my timer function. So I've got that timer set up to count down for 10 seconds. Um, I'm going to do this average time for 10 seconds, and it's going to repeat it three times. So I'll end up with six measurements afterwards. So let's go. Okay, so there's my six measurements taken. We can see the crossover point is roughly three kilohertz. Um, the measurement positions were taken two at the bottom, two in the middle, two in the top. I'm just going to move all these measurements into one folder and delete the other ones. This one we are going to call uh, eight rule. I'm going to make an average of these and call it eight. Just change the color. Okay, so now we've got an average response of this loudspeaker. You can see there's quite a lot of high frequency happening, a bit of a dip in the mid-range and a bit of a low end. So the spec sheet of the speaker says it goes from about 60 hertz, so we'll be putting in a high pass filter, maybe increasing this 100 hertz a little bit. So let's um, right click on this average trace and select create DSP. Call this work here eight, and we're going to select Blaze Audio as our amplifier. There we go. Okay, so we've got the trace on the left hand side here, and we're going to start off with our high pass filter, fourth order. Okay. Uh, then let's start with the lower frequencies. We'll start there with 100 hertz. What is that? That's roughly... 
Oh, about a hundred hertz. And why did you not do that? There we go. Grab the guy up, change the Q slightly. Okay. Um, so we can maybe increase, let's attack this 11k over here, so that is roughly 11.4 Cut that go down, we'll play with the Q Maybe we bring up some of this mid-range over here, which is 7k, a bit of sibilance. go, and then possibly this 3.7. Now this is a lot of the stuff that was going on around the crossover frequency, so we'll see what the resulting measurement gives us. What's that? That's a 2.6. And then maybe we just want to cut a lot of this low mid out here, just to balance it all in a little bit. Like so, so if we have a look at that, this is that, Let's select this guy. Okay, so if all goes well, this is what our next step in Smart will look like after I have exported this as a PDF. I'm going to call it Work Neo 8. Go and open this guy. There we go. And we'll go into our amplifier and start putting in these filters. So we've got a 60 hertz fourth order, which is a 24 dB, Lincolns and Riley, at 60 hertz. Then we're going to speaker EQ, and we have six EQ points there. First EQ point is at 100 hertz, Gain that by 5.1 with a Q of 5.1. I'll just speed up through this process. like with a high pass filter and let's go back to smart and start our timer again. Folder, 
create an average of this. Eight data modeler EQ BV 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 and apply. So now if we look at the comparative data, we just rename this folder. compared to our previous response. And if we compare this to data modeler over there, not too shabby. So just to show you Neo 5 and the Neo 6. So the nice thing now is we end up with four cabinets with very similar frequency responses compared to before. all very different responses. Cool. So now I just go in into the limited settings by using this spreadsheet. It's a 70 watt speaker. Um, we've got a peak limiter setting 3.5. 7 and 22.6.7 and we can also do the RMS limiting of 23.7 1400 and 2800 there we go okay now go and save this export file that, that, and that. Uh, work near IP, low impedance. And there we go. Let's just go to this folder. And there's my three presets. These are three presets. Lovely. Yes. 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 Thank you for sticking it through and watching that video. Um, I did try and speed up some of the processes to uh, not drain your soul too much. But if you have any questions about any of this process that I used um, and also any of the tools that I used, please feel free to reach out to me and just drop a line in the comment section. I try and check those and then I'll respond if you if you're willing to leave your email address or send me a private message, then we can have a chat. But yeah, that's um, it's a nice application-based example of using Smart and then Smart Data Modeler and then Blaze Amplifiers. Um, so great. Thanks for watching. See you on the next one.